it's an early start from me this morning. It's about 10 past seven. Uh, me and Tom are getting the 25 past nine train to St Pancreas and then making our way to Maidenhead on the tube from there. Um, plenty to look forward to today. I think it's going to be a good laugh. You know, I think a few fans, a good few fans are meeting um, in a Weatherspoons near the ground. A few, I know there's a good few dressing up in fancy dress as well, as uh, I've seen a few already online. Uh, so that should be a good laugh. Um, I'm just trying to wake myself up here with my morning coffee and my Notts County Talk mug, the right way to wake up. We've arrived at St Pancras, weather's just started to rain after nice weather we had in Nottingham yesterday. Thought it might be a bit better today. We're going to go grab some food quickly, then get the tube to Maidenhead. Um, feeling good about today. You know, all being well, if uh, if nothing crazy happens in our game, the Grinsley game should be looking at a pretty comfortable uh, fifth place finish, hopefully. Just come into King's Cross uh, to get the underground to Maidenhead. Um, seen a few knots on the round actually. Me and Tom just finished our lunch. Um, <clears throat> London is always busy, so there's a buzz around the place. Um, but yeah, feeling confident today. Uh, we just got to get the job done. Train done, lunch done, tube done, arrived at Maidenhead. As you can see, George will be a sensible, got his hood up. We are about 10 minutes uh, from Team News. I'll tell you what, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get into a comfortable position. I'd like to see Kyra Mitchell today. George has already had a go at me for saying that. You know, if he comes on and gets a goal, we've got another player going into confidence into the playoffs. Obviously, I want to see a strong team, keep that momentum. We've got a game next Monday. Hopefully, we secure it at home. But uh, we'll check back in when it's Team News. Um, yeah, I, I want to see our strong lineup continue, keep that momentum. <laughs> Team news out then, unchanged from the last game, other than uh, Cameron in for Chickson, which you like to see, but at the same time, I think Chickson's hard done by being out of the squad. Nice, no, precautionary though. Yeah, it probably is, yeah, you probably yeah, right. said that. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a good strong side, you know, something that there's a bit of a question mark over if we're going to put a few players in there that have not had loads of minutes. So it's good to see we're putting out a strong side going into the playoffs. Yeah, if we're not drowned rats by the end of this, I'll be amazed. Yeah, we've got no cover at all. It's probably about five metres of cover and it's it's cramped under there, so we ain't going to get under there, so we're going to get absolutely drenched today. <laughs> Just over 10 minutes till kick off. The players have just gone in after their warm up. Come over, give the Knots fans a clap who are stood in the pouring rain. Um, I'll get a shot of them in a minute so you can see. But they've come over, shown their appreciation, which is really good. We're all going to get soaked today, but we're hoping for that fifth place finish. So in eight days' time, we can return to Bed Lane. Pretty confident. The fish is on the slope. There's a, um, well, I can describe it as a mini hill on the goal mouth. So it, it should be an interesting one. We'll see. Hopefully, the Knots fans survive the team. It's about 10 minutes in, we're all wet through because there's no cover. But um, yeah, both sides not really had a, a grip on the game. Not just had a half decent chance. It looked like I was offside, but they went on, nothing came of it. We're on the attack now, Richardson's dribbling through. Ah, they've got the ball back. But you can see why a few of the top sides have lost here this season. There is a bit of a, a bit of a slope on the pitch. Um, yeah, it's not the best pitch in the world. A few divots around the goal, goal mark as well, so difficult pitch to play on. Joined by Will here. Will, how's he missed? Don't know, can't see, can we? Can't see. Yeah, so. Should have scored though, Alex. We've got to score, it's one on one. Should be one nil, just over 10 minutes gone. Oh well, who cares? Just under 20 minutes played. Are all over them now. I've had loads of chances. Cal has just put one straight to the keeper. Good save from the keeper, to be fair. Um, but we're piling on the pressure. It's chance after chance. You know, with lots of possession. So um, hoping to nick one soon. Corner to Knox. Palmer to Tate. Good we'll claim. We've just had another really good opportunity. Cal Roberts bending it wide from the edge of the box. Um, really should be in the lead. I know Grimsby are winning at Eastleigh, but at the minute, Knox is still on top of it.
It's half time. We found a little bit to cover up on the bit of a makeshift gazebo type thing. Um, but Jake, are you happy with it? Quite a bit in the first half. Yeah, it's been alright. Brown's tin pot as anything, but you know, it's, we've had the root, uh, the Roberts chance, which I don't know how he's missed there. Um, can't quite that on that. Uh, but it's not been bad. I'm terrible. I've been on the I think the price will win this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not been too bad, but it's just a grim, actually. grim day. Yeah, yeah. Just, so the weather could literally couldn't be any worse for, for the stadium that we're in. Right in the open, aren't we? Like I said previously to this bit, there's about five meters of cover for the standards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's, there's just so much. <laughs> uncover. Oh, wait, there's no way, mate. It's the league Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. But would you make any changes at half time? No, no. Keep keep the same. Yeah, definitely. Um, for a big second offer. That's second half just about to begin then. It would take, I don't want to jinx it, but a, a big swing of goals in the Grimsby game and in this one. I think there's still four or five needed. Uh, Maiden had just kicked off. If we take our chances, we're already three up. Obviously, we haven't taken our chances. It's still nil-nil, but big second half as Jim goes down. Clutching is about hopefully nothing too bad there. Maiden has just been played through, probably the best chance of the game really. Um, striker doesn't really put the best finish on it. Slocum, great save to his top left. Um, still no nil. It's all kicking off a little bit, as you can hear. Uh, late challenge going in for Slocum. Uh, he's got up, we can't quite see if he's reactive. But Maiden are putting it on us a little bit. We need to be a bit careful, we don't concede. They've had a couple of corners into the box. Uh, we've dealt with it pretty well. But what I'd like to see, what I haven't seen in some games this season, is I'd like to see uh, not turn it around, take the initiative again and get a goal. Kyle gets in front of the defender. This is about to get the ball away, but the defender absolutely takes his legs, doesn't he? Definite um, penalty. Definite penalty. Ref's got it right. Uh, Kyle steps up to take the penalty. Yeah! Right down the middle. 1-0 knock. That's the Fifteen minutes left of the regular season um, before the playoffs. Looks like we've got fifth place now. Or oh, an absolute collapse. Corner to Notts though, we've piled the pressure since the penalty. Ooh. Swung in, oh. just cleared again. Uh, we've not been fantastic from corners. One thing is, uh, Maiden are always leaving someone up. I know we've got the set piece specialist, but you just wish not to leave it up occasionally, don't you? Just uh, to give us an opportunity. These are awful. Maiden there comes to nothing. What do you say, Will? These are awful. These are awful. There you go, that's, they've got a cross. That nearly came back to bite him, but uh, not steal it pretty well. There's about five minutes left of the game. It's still quite an open game, you know. Not, you know, picking up a couple of yellow cards as well. Um, Maidenhead really should have just scored. The, the strikers just had a really good chance, but he sort of fluffed it and it's gone wide. Hoping we see it out and just stay a little bit more disciplined because we're picking up a few fouls that we don't need to. Oh, free I'm kick, free kick for uh, for Notts. Ruben danced for a few players, got absolutely hacked down. Will, what did you just say? It's going in. This is going in. It is Ruben range. Let's have a look. Um, be about yeah, Brunt's over. It's probably about 20 25 yards out. 20 25. Here we go. Ruben for 2 0. Straight into the wall. Straight into the wall. Awful. <laughs> We've still got the ball though. Same attack. Same attack. I think it's going to fizzle out to nothing. <laughs> Finished, as you will have seen, Knotts one made Ned nil. Um, we've gone with Jake and Will just to grab a drink or something to eat uh, before Will drives us back. Um, it, it was a good victory, wasn't it? Because it's not an easy place to come. You know, they've got the pitch that's not exactly friendly to yep. play on. So, how uh, do you think that went? It went all right. I think you know the, the lead could have been more. Both sides had the chances to score goals. Uh, I thought Maiden had some really good chances actually near the end uh, to clinch it. Um, yeah, a, a, good, a good footballing game for, for the, the neutral, but. Job done for us, isn't it, really? Yeah, uh, I think although we showed a bit of ill discipline with the fouls at the end, you know, we did rein it in. Uh, touch will we haven't picked up any injuries, it looked like there might have been a couple in that game. But all in all, we've got the 1 0 victory. Um, we play Grimsby at home, I've just seen Grimsby have a 2000 allocation. We've got to pack Medal Lane, so if you're watching this, you're thinking, should I come, should I not? We need to pack Medal Lane, we need to help Knots. Congratulations to Stockport who have gone up. Um, 
thought they would do it. They made hard work of it, yeah. but fair play. Uh, on the balance of things, they were the best team this season. Um, that is our regular season content finished. We have quite a lot in store, ready for this playoffs. Hopefully it's a playoff one of three games. Yeah. And if you have enjoyed the vlog, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.